All right, everybody, welcome back to Game of Thrones, the Crusader Kings Game of Thrones mod. And I'm your buddy Paul here, and we're here doing another playthrough. I decided to go with one that was uh, heavily requested for me, uh, which was a, a, class, a Clash of Kings playthrough uh, for Beric Dondarrion, the Lightning Lord, uh, favored by the Lord of Light. So that's who we're going to play as this time. Uh, we're basically a lawless brigand who is fighting for justice out there like Robin Hood. And, uh, he also cannot be killed. Anytime he is killed, he is brought back to life. So we will test out this theory by playing as him and hoping that we don't die. Because if we do die, I'm calling bullshit. Um, but the reason I haven't done a Beric Dondarrion playthrough is because it's really fucking hard. Okay, you start out with like a thousand troops, and you're right in the middle of the Riverlands, which is at war with everybody. Sorry, I get 3,200 troops. Um, I've got some decent generals, but ooh, it's rough. So let's take a look at who we got here. Beric Dondarrion's a pretty cool character himself. Um, you know, you're you're resurrected, you have that trait here, which increases your dual skill a lot, so if I get into a fight, I've got good chances of winning. I'm favored by Raylor, which can give me good powers and whatnot. I have, you know, an increased chance of dealing with dragons. We've got a bunch of good traits here, so overall, really good character. I've got some good characters in my court here. Here's Thoros of Mir, looking like a fat fuck for some reason. <laughs> but, but he's a solid player as well. I believe he's a decent fighter on here. I'm going to make him my hall, high alma mater. Just to make sure he is faithful for me. And I'm going to make sure he is a bodyguard if it lets me. Uh, it doesn't let me. I must already have my bodyguard set. Uh, but let's see what let's see what the troops look like. Is the, so like I said, this is a tough playthrough. So what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to set some scouts. Um, you, these aren't really meant to be scouts, but that's kind of how I use them in this game. Uh, especially when I'm playing a character who doesn't even have a city. Uh, I can, in, instead of improving diplomatic relations, which I guess is what they'll be doing, I can use them over here and they'll be my eyes and ears. So if troops march past Isgaroth here, I'll be able to see them marching. And I want to be able to put one in the west too if I can. Uh, but this guy's not going to be helpful. Yeah, I can put him sort of in the west. I'll put him here by River Run. See, there's Rob Stark and his 34,000 men. They're not hostile towards me, so I don't have to worry about them. So what I can do is if I can keep an eye on them. I can stick next to them like a scared little scared little child and let Rob Stark do my fighting for me. Um, but yeah, that that's basically that. I will sort by by this, and we'll get this game started. All right, so I have my troops marching here. Stannis is sending out letters to everyone, letting us know about the bastards in uh, in King's Landing. Believe us, we know. Uh, but me, Harwin, and I put Thoros in charge of my army here as well. Now, if we get ambushed, we're in big, 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 big trouble. So I'm going to make sure I keep an eye on Rob. You guys need to help me out here, like Blue's Clues. Like, there he goes. Start screaming at your screen for me, because I'm going to need you guys to help. Uh, I'm going to... So oh, I forgot to set my ambition. This is good to do just because you can get basically free shit from this. I'm just going to set it to win the war so my marshal goes up. But again, I think our chances of winning the war are severe, severely low. Um, in fact, I'll be shocked if this episode makes it to 10 minutes, but we will see. Uh, but we're, we're marching out of the Red Fork right now to Derry. I'm really hoping we don't get ambushed. Let's keep an eye, because Tywin starts at Harrenhal, but he's marching. He's already left, because I wanted to give him a little bit of time to march out of here. Right now, my plan is that you can see my marching path right here. I've only got 3,200 men, so if I get attacked, it's bad, bad news. My plan is to go over here and attack this island here at Claw Isle. Because at the very least, if they send someone to attack me, they have to cross a river to do so. Or, you know, you know a channel. So that's my plan here. That's kind of where what happens when you sit at the Blue Fork, too. But at least I can siege back here. If I can take a castle or two, you know, then I can start, uh, you know, getting some money. Which I can use to buy more troops. Because what's tough about this playthrough in a game like this is most of your power comes from, like, controlling a keep. Like, when I control a keep, like Joffrey here... You know, he's got all of his siblings, he's got his vassals who raise troops for him, he's got a whole court of people, and, you know, even if his troops die, he's still alive in his castle, and he's got that, and you need to take the castle to beat him. If I die, like, that's it. I don't have a castle. So, like, I'm like these troops are all I have. Oh boy, if you look at this, the troops of Rob Stark are now hostile towards me as well. I'm not sure why that is or what changed. Uh, he must be at war with someone else now. Oh yeah, it must be because the Ironborn are invading the north now, so for some reason that made him hostile towards me. Um, so I'm going to have to avoid Rob Stark's armies now too, because they'll attack me, which is some bullshit. <laughs> I have I have Rob's old friend Harwin, the Stable Master, as one of my one of my dudes. It'd be nice if they gave you some like uh, events like while you were playing as, oh hey, there's Rob Stark, speaking of which. Rob Stark is attacking Hall. that's canon. 
Uh, but it'd be nice if, you, if they gave you some events, like, hey, you captured Sandor Clegane, or you found Arya Stark, and you can use that. Like, if, if I could find Arya Stark, I could, get, like, leverage that with Rob and maybe, like, I don't know, link up with him. I don't know. It'd be nice if they gave you some options here. Um, because I'm doing this just for shits, <laughs> for shits and gigs. Uh, but this is not a playthrough. I don't know. I don't know how you could take a playthrough like this seriously. Like it's cool that he that um, that Beric Dondarrion exists in this playthrough for other characters, because like I can influence the war by like you know fucking up other armies, but like I can't win anything on my own, which makes it tough to do. Rob Stark's, if you notice, his troops keep going from red to gray. I'm not sure why that keeps changing, but it's scaring the shit out of me. I wish we would march faster. There we go. Let's get out of here. Hey, and there's some uh, some Lannister troops out here we can fuck with. That'll be nice. So it looks like I made it to where I needed to make it safely enough. Um, because, like I said, if I can get to this island... They, well, that's what's also nice about not having any keeps, is there's nothing I, I'm required to defend. So if I march, I'm, like, nomadic. Like, I just you gotta come get me. There's nothing you can take from me while I'm gone. So we're gonna start sieging this town over here. Okay, I haven't. I don't care who my heir is. This is not even a real family. Oh, not a real family. <laughs> Guys, come on. The Brotherhood's a real family of, you know, who likes to do blood sacrifices to, to heretic gods, things like that. We're nice people. We, we like to, to give up people to, to priestesses for sacrifices. It's no big deal. So I'm not totally sure if I can siege castles with with these uh, these barbarian troops. I guess is what you call them. Because any time I'm outside of a hold, it's not letting me actually siege. So I'm, I'm not sure if these troops have the capability to siege. So what we're going to do is we're instead going to play a uh, spoiler party here. We're going to do some guerrilla tactics. It's really tough without being able to see troop movements, but we're going to try to ambush some guys here. There's uh, a thousand Lannister troops down there we might be able to fuck with. Let's see if we can cut them off. That's going to be our next goal then. Alright, so we found some Lannister troops to ambush. No, we didn't. They got away. Shit. <laughs> this is tough. All right, so I'm going to... These 600 are marching to Maidenpool, but I also got to be careful because I'm pretty sure that's Tywin Lannister himself marching back south. And I, I can't fight them. I want to fight these little guys, Sir Balon. Oh, that's Balon Swan. I can, I can kill a knight, a knight of the Kingsguard. So he's going to be there on January 3rd if I can get there in time. All right, perfect. Now he's stopped. Now I march this way, and nice, he's going to engage me. So we're going to take on a knight of the Kingsguard here at uh, whatever the fuck this city is. All right, so here's the battle. Indeed, it is Sir Balon Swan leading this army uh, with no one else of note. And we're probably going to easily win this. Yep, there we go. And, oh, Sir Otho was taken prisoner. He is nobody, but we have a prisoner. So that might be some ransom money, which is nice. So we can take that. All right, let's march back to Heron Hall and see what we got here. Nope, they don't even have the money to pay back the ransom, so that's not helpful. Although if I... Okay, so I can look into... The, apparently, I have the power to look into the flames, and that stops plots from advancing on me, which is pretty cool. And, oh, here's an opportunity. The, uh, the Duskendales are trying to raise troops. Not on my watch. Not on my goddamn watch. Not while the Brotherhood without banners... Oh, goddammit. It worked. Oh, shit. I gotta get out of here. I was trying to do something cool. Don't catch me. No. No. Okay. Hopefully, we have better commanders, because this could be bad. Who is their commander? Come on, this guy's a scrubbly. 15, 15 Marshal. Okay, three-star commander. We might be screwed. Who's this other, who's this other guy? Sir Rufus Leak? No. This guy's crippled. He's a crippled fucking guy named whose name is Sir Rufus Leak. We're not getting defeated by this, guys. We're the Brotherhood Without Banners. God damn it. We have power. We have power. Yes. Now that's a victory, damn it. Outnumbered. It doesn't even matter. That's the Brotherhood, baby. All right, so we're going to see if we can chase these guys down. Oh, good, and I'm ill, too, so that's good timing. Oh, so I can uh, use a sacrifice to Raylor to heal my sickness, which might be worth it, because I'm probably going to be in battle again soon, and they need me. All right, let's try that. Let's heal using Raylor. Thoros called upon Raylor to heal your ailment, chanting his name and bathing in a, the afflicting area in fire. Nothing happened except a mild burning. Well, that's underwhelming. God damn it. Oh god, there's so many Lannister troops here, guys. We gotta get the fuck out of here. Hey, it worked. I'm alive. Sweet. Thanks, Red God. You're a real bro. Who needs modern medicine when you have magic? Let's go for King's Landing. Let's catch them with their pants down. We'll at least draw them south for Rob Stark here. Let's do something of note. Oh, so apparently Thoros of Mir was captured by the High Septon. I didn't even notice this. 
but he returned from the battle. Oh, so this is mid-battle. He returned for, uh, with a horrific injury. I'm not sure why the High Septon is involved in this. But Thoros of Mir was maimed. That's unfortunate. So he got an arm or a leg cut off. Poor Thoros. Why Thoros? But we're uh, right now I have my troops just kind of outside King's Landing harassing anyone who comes back to defend the city. Which is not too effective, but it's the only strategy I have right now. Our troops... Hey, wait a minute. Those are Dondarian troops who just marched north. Those bastards. Oh, shit. God damn it. Well, while the Dun I was distracted by the Dondarian troops, here comes fucking Balon Swan back, but this time he's got 23,000. So we're going to get the fuck out of here. Hopefully. Oh, no, guys. We're being attacked. Oh, no. We're routed. Oh, God. That's it. We've been defeated. Oh, shit. Well, that's it. I've been killed. Game over. Uh, well, I was executed. I, I ruled the, the Brotherhood Without Banners for one year. That's the first game over we've gotten in these playthroughs. I kind of predicted it was going to happen because I was playing as the Brotherhood Without Goddamn Banners. But uh, you guys requested it, so you did this to me, damn it. Uh, we'll be playing as someone more reasonable next week, someone I might be able to get something done with. Uh, but hey, the night is dark and full of terrors. I tried my best. If you want to uh, see some other games, we'll be doing, uh, you know, we play we play different games every every week. So you can join us uh, for our regular Let's Plays. Otherwise, you can join us for this next week. Join us next time.